Hi everybody and welcome again to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about mastering and for that I'm going to use one of the most interesting and challenging projects I ever made. The OX album called OX 15 years. This album is a live recording from 2009. I made the live mix, the recording and the mastering. It was a difficult project. Not much budget, more than 20 musicians with uh, strings and brass sections, percussions, keys and the classic rock formation of drums, bass, guitar and vocals. But why do I want to show you such an old project? Well, when I did this mastering, uh, I was working with Soundforge on Windows XP and I didn't have the material I have now and also the knowledge I have now. So I decided to remaster with the new stuff and check what I can do. When I sent the master to Chimo, the OX leader, uh, he told me to remaster all the album for digital platforms. Let's listen to the song Al País Valencià, the last song of the album. Okay. <clears throat> As you can notice, we have some problems here. At first, the noise floor is really high. This album was mixed in an analog console and bounced to a tape machine. That uh, gives us a nice color but a bad noise floor. We also have too much sibilances and harshness because of the symbols. We have a lot of elements in the mix so we need to correct these issues but maintaining the balance between them. Chimo made the mix so he knows the sound he wants. We also have to take care about the lows so don't make the mix muddy. It has to sound clean so we can differentiate every element. This was my first master, made 10 years ago.
el cap de de forats Tan de parlar de vanitats Que omplin el cos d'alegries De les pitjors de les fantasies Que estem a temps de criticar Totes les formes d'opressió La solució deu ser La revolució Per aclarir la vista I una revolta Comunista Començarem a lluitar Per a la llibertat Okay. As we can notice, uh, the noise reduction plugin has created a lot of artifacts. Ten years ago, I couldn't make it much better, but now um, I can fix it easily. We can differentiate every element, but uh, it's still a little bit harsh. And the levels we have are a little bit low for today's standards. Digital platforms normalize the levels, but not always. So loudness war is not over at all. I don't care much about the meters here in the audio editor, but it's just because I use the Clarity M from DC Electronic for that. I have all the information about levels, phase and frequency in an independent screen and in real time. You can see a pair of controllers also from DC Electronic. These are for two plugins I use at the end of my mastering chain. Now we are going to see step by step what they have done for this new master. As you can see now, I'm working with WaveLab Pro 10, a much more powerful and stable software than Soundforge. We are going to start with noise reduction. I inserted on the track, not on the master section, that noise from waves at first. I create a noise profile and then increase the threshold and the reduction until it sounds bad. Let's start. I'm not pushing it too hard because after that noise, I inserted NS1, also from Waves. This plugin works like a um, kind of selective noise gate with just one control. Just raise this control until we have the reduction we want without affecting the audio quality.
Bass. As you can notice, the result is much, much better than in the old master. Now it doesn't affect to the audio quality. Let's go now to the master section. My first step is the master rig from Steinberg. I use it to correct possible mixing issues. Uh, I insert a 20 Hz filter and a dynamic EQ with mid side configuration. I use the mid channel to reduce a little bit sibilances and the side channel for the symbols. Not much reduction because I don't want to destroy the mix. Very subtle, but it will help us a lot after. Now we have a de -esser. I use the resonant de -esser from Waze for light corrections. If it was too bad, I will use Sooth 2 from OX Sound. Um, this is just to tame a little bit more the hardness. I prefer to reduce it uh, just a little bit twice than reducing a lot in one process. Very, very subtle. The next processor is an Aural Exciter. I use Waves Vitamin because it's versatility. It has multiband processing and uh, allows us to open or close the stereo in each band. With this step, we add harmonics and open a little bit the mix in the mids and highs. Be careful with these processors because we can add more harshness. Yeah, 
Coyonas, pel que dirán Toda la historia Nice Now, a little bit of compression um, If I need only a little bit of control I can use VST Dynamics from Steinberg with a soft compression but in this case I use Alpha Compressor from Elysia I'm using the side chain to avoid compressing the lows and add a little bit of uh, color just compressing a couple of dBs As you can see, it's barely compressing. 1.5 of ratio, auto attack and release, and a little bit of soft clipping. Next step is AB Road TG Mastering. With it, I make uh, almost all the mid-side processing. I use the tape saturator, slightly different in mid and side. High pass filters, also different in mid and side. EQ, here we have uh, a little boost on high end in mid, cutting the sides, the same with high mids, little boost on mids only on the sides, and then cut lows on the sides. And then we have some parallel compression in stereo with the mix at 60%. Y acoyonas pel que dirán Toda la historia señalamos Y continúen señalando el yaltre Que este matem de criticar Todo el esforzo es de opresión La solución de usted Revolución Nice We have now the vocals more up front But not harsh This plugin is a beast. Uh, we can have different colors and just one dB can make the difference. Next processor, the Master XHD from TC Electronic. This is a dynamic multiband processor, a little bit different. We have three bands and it's an expander compressor and limiter. But the settings are the same 
for the three bands. We can modify how the plugin affects each band with the curve and this parameter, the factor. In this case, I boost 1 dB on the high band, leaving the other two 0 dBs. And I use this uh, setting because I want to compress only the mid and highs, leaving the lows breathing. I use the compressor and also a little bit of limiting, just in case. A little bit of soft clipping. Down the output gain and the mix control at 60% for soften a little bit the processing. This plugin and the next one are the ones with the hardware controllers that I show you before. You can see how, how it's affecting to the mid and the high band. At least we have the brick wall HD also from TC Electronic. This is a true peak limiter for pushing and controlling the signal. The output is at minus one in order to avoid intersample peaks. The gain 4.5. I set it there for limiting just the transients, no more than 3 dB. In this case, I use uh, auto release in drug mode. This limiter has an automatic mode where you can set the level value and it selects the settings, but I prefer not to looking for a level, but looking for a good sounding master. The visual interface is really useful to see how the limit acts and to see the statistics and levels. <laughs> Nice, good level. We are using also a little bit of soft clipping here, smooth. And master done. I'm going to bounce the file and compare to the old master. This is the new one. At first sight, we can see that the new master is much louder than the old one. Let's check the original mix. Ya tin que el cap de forage, 
dejan de parlar de vanidad Y a un primer cos de alegrías De los pintores de las fantasías Que este matan de criticar Todas las formas de opresión La solución de usted La revolución Ver aclarar la vista De una revolta Comunista Comenzaremos a luchar Era la libertad Y a coyonas pel que dirán Toda la historia señalándonos Y continúen señalando el yaltre Que este matem se criticare Todas las formas de opresión La solución de usted La revolución Para aclarar la vista Y una revolta Comunista Comenzaré a lluitar Para la libertad access to the mix, maybe we can make some corrections to improve the results, but this is not possible. I think the new master is much much better than the old one, I have better equipment and the most important, better skills. In the comment section you can find the link to the OWIX website and their uh, YouTube channel. Take a look at them because soon you can find this album and also the new one on digital platforms. See you in my next video. Bye.